This Minecraft dig sort changes the way you dig big areas. That might be a little exaggerated, but let me show you what I mean. On Mechanists we were digging this perimeter, and with the dig sort you're just able to slam all your items into a shulker box, throw that shulker box into one of those holes with beacons in it, and also the other items that you still have on you. These will then get transported through water streams in the, to the center of the perimeter, and in the center here you can already see they get transported up through a water column with uh, bubbles. And up here they run through the dig sort. And it's just so convenient to end up with sorted chalker boxes when you finish one of these projects. So you end up with all of the blocks that occur in large quantities filled in chalker boxes and sorted. Also most of the ores get filled in chalker boxes but these end up here. Uh, not filled in shulker boxes. All the items that can't get sorted will end up here and also on top there we have a chunk loader that keeps the whole system loaded while it's running. There are also different sizes of these. Here we have a pretty fast one that's made for large multiplayer servers and here we have a very compact simplified one that's mainly usable in single player. They have been made by Speedcuber and Commandleo and I'll link their socials as well as the discord links for the Lightmedigas and well downloads for these in the video description. They both work pretty much the same though so let's take a look at that. This is a good test subject, we have a lot of stone here, some ores and a lot of the blocks that you get very often. On the server we connected this with a large water column down here so we could throw the items in at the bottom. But they would basically arrive at the top here. So we have a bunch of shulker boxes that arrive here. But also you can throw out the items themselves here. So I'll we'll just do that as well. So the items and shulker boxes here run over the, these hoppers and these fill up with all the items and shulker boxes. Then obviously we need to figure out which of those are items and which are shulker boxes. The items, as you can already see here, get just dropped out into a water stream. We'll get back to that water stream later. And the shulker boxes would end up in this water stream down here. Obviously the quantity of items in this case is way more than the quantity of shulker boxes, so we don't see any shulker boxes right now here. The shulker boxes would continue their way though, up here into this small buffer storage, which is capable of keeping a lot of shulker boxes so they can afterwards be processed in a nice pace. I'll put some more shulker boxes into the buffer here to showcase this a little bit. So this dropper will soon be dropping some shulker boxes. There we go. That shulker box gets transported up here into this array of shulker box unloaders. So we should slowly see this array completely fill up with shulker boxes so they all get unloaded at the same time. And then the items of these get dispensed here and they merge with the items from the water stream mentioned earlier. All these items then move over this sorting array here. We have all the different sorters for the different blocks here. And this is made in a way that items that don't get picked up the first cycle collide with these pickles here, go back there and do another cycle. The next cycle though they are aligned a little bit different and because of that the next cycle they would end up in this shulker box filler here with these six hoppers. This is a six times hopper speed shulker box filler by Ken2000 and this fills the shulker boxes with the items that couldn't be sorted. As already shown on the server these then end up in this chest array here and get stored there. With this lever here in front you can also decide whether these shulker boxes should get sorted again in case there are still items in there that can get sorted or just keep them in that chest array here. We have one portal down here to conveniently connect it to the nether hub system and at the top we have the chunk loading portal that's connected to the input system of the items to stop it from unloading while it's running. For the chunk loading itself, this is a reliable chunk loader by Andrews that I already made a video of. And coming to the smaller storage, we have pretty similar components. 
here's the input, you would have the bubble water stream down here going up and dumping all the items in this cycle. Right here we have the splitter again that sorts out the shulker boxes from the normal items and then the shulker box unloaders here. All the items get funneled together again. Here we even have a stone cutter to batch the items a little bit that reduces lag and increases the efficiency of the sorters a little bit. But all after all you also end up with sorted shulker boxes of the items here and the uh, normal sorted items not filled in shulker boxes here and the non-sorted items. Here we also have a convenient shulker box display for all the stuff you need for digging and we also have something similar here but you could also just add chests anywhere honestly. I hope you enjoyed with these you'll definitely be prepared for your next big digging project and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!